And the third is that we are going to turn Iran into a normal country, which is another way of talking about regime change. And as Abbas said, you know, I, I think we could have debated three or four weeks ago where we were on that as a consequence of the, the public reaction uh, on the street. But I will say there's not a lot of his, historical predicate for uh, imposing regime change through economic sanctions uh, overseas. And the Soleimani strike has at least provided an opportunity for the regime in the near term to kind of circle the wagons, rally the flag, depending on your on your metaphor. So I don't think they're achieving that objective either. But other than that, everything's great. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, the strategic uh, vision that you said the Trump administration adheres to, that the coming crisis or the coming challenge is China and Russia, uh, that there is a Cold War on the horizon and it's going to be between the United States, the West, and these two countries. If that is actually the game, the, I can tell you with uh, absolute certainty, China and Russia have never been as strong in the Persian Gulf as they are today, never. In 200 years, Russia has never had a naval base in the Persian Gulf. They're about to get one. Never in history has China, Russia, and Iran had joint naval operations in the Persian Gulf. They just had one about three weeks ago. The degree of influence that China and Russia have in Iran and have in the Persian Gulf, have in countries like Saudi Arabia, where they're trying to invest money, in Iraq, as you indicated, has never been as great as it is today. So if the vision of, the strategic vision is to curtail and control uh, China and Russia's influence in that region, it certainly, failing. In terms of the domestic response to all of this, uh, I think what has to be remembered is the seriousness of the crisis that the regime has faced. And uh, the kind of binary, did the old strategy work or did, is this one working, fails to take one aspect in consideration. What if we had something between these two? What if we had a strategy that was based actually on the realities in Iran. The reality in Iran is that this is a regime that has lost its legitimacy politically. It has not proven capable of solving the fundamental economic problems of Iranian society.